Hey guys, it's Darren from Healthy Living Right. Going to do something a little different tonight. Going to make a spatchcocked chicken from Trader Joe's. It's lemon and rosemary. A side dish that I'm making with the chicken is shirataki noodles, glucoman and fiber. The cool thing about this is a new study came out in the journal Nutrients showing that a serving of glucoman and fiber lowers blood sugars. Best thing and the cool thing about this is you could almost treat it as a supplement. Adding shirataki noodles, glucoman and fiber into your diet two to three times a week would have a huge impact. Just another tool in your arsenal when it comes to fighting type 2 diabetes and the metabolic syndrome that is such a problem in today's society. And the shirataki noodles taste great. I'm going to show you how to do them tonight really quick, really easy. I'll show you some quick tips to make it super easy and friendly and fun. Tonight, the shirataki noodles I'm making are going to be with an almond pesto sauce. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, I have laid out the ingredients. I'm using the spatchcocked chicken from Trader Joe's, the Pasta Zero spaghetti style shirataki noodles. These are the glucomannan fiber. These are amazing. I have a pesto from a local farmer's market here that is just olive oil and clean ingredients and then a block of aged parmesan cheese here i'm going to real quickly spray the inside of the air fryer with the fourth and heart ghee spray i have already preheated the air fryer at 425 i'm going to insert the chicken into the air fryer allow the air fryer to cook for about 20 minutes Here's where a little bit of the magic comes in. As you can see, we've already got a beautiful golden brown chicken. I add a little of the ghee spray to the chicken and put it back into the air fryer. This gives it an amazing crispiness and golden brown, plus a beautiful flavor of the ghee. After a few minutes left, I want to bring it out and I flip it over so that the underside gets nice and crispy just as the top did. So if you haven't worked with shirataki noodles, they do have a bit of an earthy smell. Don't be alarmed. This completely goes away. You won't taste it when you do the technique that I'm getting ready to show you. So all you're going to do is take these shirataki noodles and some ch kitchen shears and puncture a little hole in the bag. Run the water in the sink. Start squeezing the bag like crazy. These noodles are very pliable. You're not going to damage them, I promise. Get all the juice that you can out. No need to rinse. No need to put them in... Anything extra, save yourself the hard work, make it simple. Now the next step is you're going to throw these noodles into a very hot non-stick skillet with nothing in it, no spray, nothing. As you can see, the hot skillet is doing the work for you. This is where the evaporation of any of the remaining moisture in the noodles will come off. This point is where you want to make sure the noodles are well covered around the skillet. This is going to allow all that evaporation of the moisture from the noodles. This step will take about 5 to 10 minutes. Give the pan a few toss. And then what I'm going to do is I take some kitchen shears and I start cutting the noodles down a little bit. This will keep them from clumping together while they are evaporating. They will sometimes get a little bit sticky. And this is just from the heating process. Now we are just about done. Now I'm going to add in the pesto and give it a few more toss. To make sure the pesto is fully incorporated into the pasta. And here you go. You have this beautiful golden brown chicken from the air fryer. Now just to finish it off, I'm going to use a little fresh grated Parmesan and a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And there you have it, a beautiful, satiating, low-carb dinner in 45 minutes or less. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and you watched it to the end, I appreciate it. And do me a solid, hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me with the algorithm and it also shows me what people are enjoying to see. Thanks for watching and until next time.